Tesla problems, you know? Is it actually? Yeah, sir. Race day today. It's a two and a half hour drive. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Come this way, come this way. I think this is a pretty appropriate time. It was an appropriate time. I think this is an appropriate time to start today's video. We are down here at Chuck Waller Raceway. I want to show you guys a couple of cars. Come over here. Right now, we're at the racetrack. My friend John hit me up and said he wants to race his brand new 488 Pista, which is the brand new fastest Ferrari. You got to watch out for race cars like everywhere. So, it's so loud. It's hard. It's hard to talk. So this is my friend John's brand new 488 Pista. Car problems, right? Race car problems. This is the fastest Ferrari engine ever produced. It's quite the big deal. And then we're gonna race it. Today we're gonna race it against a GT3R. Right here, this is a Porsche race car. Absolute insanity. And we have a couple of different cameras. We have a couple of different GoPros. I got my race helmet and we're gonna see how, how much this thing can perform. I'm really excited. We're gonna go check out the track, ride around, and uh, welcome to another car vlog. Can you complain? We got cameras. Uh, we're just, it's all race cars against race cars. So we're gonna get out there, bring the cameras. Maverick's gonna actually film from the track. All right guys, we're hopping in the 488 right now. All right, so John is over here. Another homie in the M6. Just wrapped up in the 488 Pista. Maverick is actually taking his turn because he was nice enough to help me actually film this video. Oh my gosh, I feel like I am like the first YouTuber to actually get to make a video with the 488 Pista, especially on the track. It performs so much better than the 488. I've driven the 488 so many times. I've actually driven a 488 on this exact same track and that car just has so much balance, so much handling. It's insane, not to mention the, the how beautiful the car looks with the paint, the stripe down the middle, the carbon all over the engine, the carbon all over the interior. It's an amazing car. It was it was pretty much keeping up with like the GT3R and the M6 GT3, and considering the fact that it's like a street car and not an actual race car, pretty insane. We're just out here getting that, that ultra exclusive content. I think I'm like the first 
first YouTuber to be able to film with the 48 Pista on the track. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Get us 10 mil. Ooh. Yeah, literally anywhere. I'm just gonna take a good photo of it. Man. This guy is a maniac behind the wheel. <laughs> I love it. Look, oh, brother, that was fun, baby. Nice running. Five. So, so the whole reason we are out here, I've said it a couple of times, was to test the limits of the 488 Pista. So here it is right here. I don't know the actual differences. I know this is like the most powerful Ferrari engine ever produced, right? That's a, that's a fact. I mean, guys, come here. Look, look at the engine bay. If you guys can even see, look at all the carbon fiber. Oh, this oh, opens. Oh, it's opens. Of course you can see it. I mean, I wish I could tell you more about this car, but this is my first time seeing it. This is like one of the first ones delivered in the United States, and John already wanted to just take it out on the track, absolutely destroy it. Shred, what, two sets of tires today? Two sets of tires in one day on the brand new 48 Pista. So, from this video, let me know what you guys think. How does this car perform? How is it on video? Is it entertaining? Should I get a 48 Pista? Yeah, we're gonna take a thumbnail now. And that was the official, I think that's the first test day of the 48 Pista on YouTube. I don't think anyone's made a video with this car. I just wanna show you guys the interior on this car. It is one of the most beautiful. First of all, look at these carbon bucket seats. You can hardly see the back of them. These are the seats. It has the beautiful Ferrari steering wheel. Of course, of course, nothing's really changed on the steering wheel. The normal 488s have all this carbon, but there's carbon everywhere. But but the most beautiful part is not the five-point harnesses. It's not, it's not that. It's actually the doors. Look at these doors. All carbon fiber. So light. That's the door handle. So nice. This is a car. Right? This, this is a car. Like, you gotta... Ferrari has to let you buy one of these. There's a lot of distractions here at the track right now. There's obviously race cars on the car right. We have the 488 Pista right here. But more importantly, I want to take a small moment to show you guys something that John is working on. It's called peekaboo.com. This is essentially Uber meeting YouTube, meaning you can go to peekaboo.com, you can hire people, or you can work there yourself, teaching people over a live stream. Follow, follow with me, follow with me now. You can teach people over a live stream and they basically pay you per minute. You could do gaming, you could do cooking, you could do how to scooter, how to do YouTube videos, how to make thumbnails. There's so many different things, but again, this is a super new in development thing. So I'm gonna leave the link to the description down below. I want you to go to peekaboo.com and there'll be a little tab where you can kind of enter different things that you would be interested in learning. The whole idea of this is legitimately to get rid of schooling, to make school not a thing anymore because there's a lot of ways and it's it's debatable. You can have a little argument saying school is not very useful or maybe it is useful to the right people. But the whole idea of this is to make people not have to go to school anymore. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to John. Oh, I don't want to give a shout out to John. I want to give a shout out to Peekaboo for having us out to the freaking shred the 488. So go to the link in description, guys. Peekaboo.com. This is actually a serious thing. Like, I'm, I'm not being paid to tell you guys to go to this website, but I think it's something that's really incredible. This is the future. This, that's essentially what it is. The Porsche broker. Oh. <laughs> Just a Gatorade, that's all. Man, we just went out and like pushed the limits this time. Woo! I got an iPhone clip of that too, so you got you guys saw what I saw. Apparently, this car has a computer system. I don't know anything about it. I can't tell you what it's called, but it makes sure the car does not mess up. It can't lose traction. It can't spin out. It like makes sure at all times that this car is planted on all four wheels. It's crazy. Like you can't spin out. I think they're letting Tanner drive the Mad Max car right now. <laughs> We're in the Mad Max car now. It feels like I'm filming Dude. a movie, especially with the golf okay, cart. So, so this is one of John's other cars. This is called the Mad Max. He built this for the Lemons race, which is a 24-hour race, and you're only allowed to build a car using $500. So check it out. It just looks a little Look more than thing. $500. Look at this thing. We have an air vent out the front, just in case you're curious how many knots you're going. We have all these amazing Mad Max. I don't even know what you'd call these. We'll say they help with downforce. We could just say they help with downforce. 
check this out. We got the custom, we got the custom piping air vents here. Of course, you know, gotta get the air to the brakes. No, of course. Um, over here, we have some nice welded spider webs. We also have, again, a Nerf gun. It's a Nerf gun in the front there. The flooring is covered in license plates. Look down there. Brass knuckles off the back of the car. All lots of pointy metal. Working fans. This thing does not die. <laughs> it's, it's like a cockroach. cockroach. This is like the cockroach of all cars. It won't die. This was once a Porsche, believe it or not. If you can picture that, this was once a Porsche. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in coming yeah. In. Flex, I just wanna win, just yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. We just got back to uh, the little RV setup here at the track. Super random day. I want to give a massive shout out. Thank you, John, for having us out here to just rip around in the pista and on the track. Check out peekaboo.com, guys. I think it could do a lot of good for the world in the future and really change the actual way that the school system works. So please, if you have like 10 seconds, go down, check out the website, kind of understand what I'm talking about a little more, and uh, let us know your thoughts on stuff that you would want to be taught or you could teach people. That's pretty much wrapping up the track day. We literally came down here to race the M6, against the 488, against the Mad Max car, against the GT3R, if you even understood anything I just said. The sun's about to go down, we're just chilling. I think that concludes our track day.